It's been very busy in the town of Salem community recently, and there's a lot to cover. So rather than split these topics into separate videos, we're going to try something a little different and cover them all here in a news roundup of what's happened in the last two weeks. First things first, if you've been active in the Town of Salem community on Reddit and Discord over the last few days, you know there's been quite a bit of drama regarding the trial system, decisions made by people running it, and what counts as game throwing that spun very out of control. To make sure everyone's on the same page, a player was playing Town of Salem 1 as Poisoner and attacked an arsonist on night 1. Seeing that they had defense, they decided to push the arsonist with a psychic will and succeeded in getting them guiltied. The arsonist, having seen that the poisoner was the one who attacked them via their passive douse ability, outed them as such in their final words. In response, the poisoner claimed that they are actually serial killer, likely to avoid getting Roblox the following night in order to squeeze out another kill before they died, or be seen as a lesser threat since Mafia was still in the game. This player got reported for game throwing because they claimed serial killer, and the report was judged guilty, resulting in the player losing their account. They posted about this on Reddit, resulting in the whole situation blowing up and a lot of angry posts and comments direct at the trial system mods and eventually Discord mods and users that weren't even involved in the initial report. I'm not going to go into detail about what was said about the people overseeing the trial system or how the Reddit mods handled the situation because it ultimately isn't helpful in discussing the root problem that leads to account suspensions like this. That game throwing is incredibly difficult to judge because we can't know a player's intentions. And by definition, game throwing is intentionally losing the game or hurting your team's chances of winning. Unless it's something so egregiously blatant as shooting a revealed mayor, we can't know what a player was planning. Making a bad play is not throwing. And in this instance, I do believe that the player was trying their best to win. Did it need to blow up into all this drama? Nope, <laughs> they should have waited for their appeal to get reviewed before commenting. But more importantly, Something I haven't seen discussed anywhere, how are players supposed to know that what they're doing falls under game throwing without their account getting suspended in the process? That definition I read earlier, it comes directly from the Town of Salem rules tab. The only other things on that tab are two examples of extreme game throws. It doesn't say anywhere in the rules that you can't claim a lesser evil when outed. A trial admin responding to a user claiming the player's intent wasn't to throw said that the situation was the same as the first example on the rules tab. And I disagree, I don't think those are comparable. I understand that the people voting on reports have their own rules to follow, but in my opinion, it's unreasonable that somebody can get banned for a rule infraction that does not exist on the rule page. The devs have decided that this isn't something allowed like the comment said, it should probably be stated in the rules in game, because right now there's a disconnect between the rules that players know and the rules that jurors follow, and it's leading to a lot of tension on both sides. I'm not saying we need a list of every way you can throw the game. That's just going to lead to people skirting just up to the line of what counts as throwing and then arguing that they didn't technically break the rules if reported. But if the devs decided here that there's a hard line that should probably be communicated to players to prevent situations like this from happening. Next up on the agenda, season one of Ranked is coming to a close, which means we'll be getting some role changes in the off season. The devs are currently accepting feedback on which roles most need balance changes on the official Discord, which I'll link below. You can vote neutral overpowered, strong, balanced, weak, or underpowered, and they'll likely be changed in accordance to whichever ones get the most votes on the extreme ends of the spectrum. Go over there and make your voice heard. As of recording, Seer currently has the most overpowered votes, followed by Trickster and Voodoo Master. <laughs> Hi, sorry, future out of here. I was just making sure the votes hadn't changed as I was editing, so I checked the devs poll again, and on the other rolls, people are voting with the assigned options. <laughs> But when you scroll down to Trickster, 44 people voted red X mark. Red X mark was not one of the options. The devs asked, how well is Trickster balanced? And almost 50 people just answered, no. <laughs> Investigator currently has the most underpowered votes, followed by Admirer and Prosecutor. I understand those placements. Prosecutor really does feel like a worse deputy, and Seer has been dominating games since the game was first released. I don't think Dreamweaver should be higher up on the priority list for a buff, but whatever. Also, we are getting two new roles. We have zero information on them right now, just that they exist. So there's not much to report, but I'm just gonna hope and pray that one of them is a rework of Transporter because I really liked that role. And finally, the Better Town of Salem 2 mod began beta testing last week. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's a game modification that adds in new roles, modes, and features. And guys, they fixed Trickster in it. It's so much better there. If you're like the person in my last video who didn't like that vampires were removed from All Any, they also have a true All Any mode, which includes literally everything. Vampires, cursed souls, all the new custom roles there, everything. If you're a casual player, that's probably the most fun place for you to start. 
It's a huge passion project that talented members of the community have poured a lot of time into, and it deserves so much more attention. So if this sounds at all interesting to you, you can go to the Discord server linked below to learn more. Nobody asked me to shout it out, I just honestly think that you'll all enjoy it. And it looks like that'll do it for now. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see y'all next time.